Hello, ladies and gents. Thank you for stopping by here at my channel, Digital Ocean. I'm going to be showing you today how to install Facebook Pixel on Shopify. There are actually three different ways of installing the Pixel. I'm going to show you all of them and you will be choosing which one to go through. And uh, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, so now we are under business.facebook.com and you need to go and click this one. You should be seeing this exactly unless it's um, Facebook has changed something else, like Meta has changed something else. You should click here on, on settings, then business settings, more business settings. Okay, now under data sources, click pixels once you pixels you should be having at least one pixel or zero click to add if you don't have any pixels just click to add pixel right and um, here is very easy self-explanatory it's gonna create a pixel for you just put give it a name website eventually I mean that's absolutely optional then click continue and it will automatically create pixel for you let's say we have a pixel already AG marketer this one okay open in event manager so we are opening the events manager sometimes it's opening it here right on the in this overview now make sure you are here on the data sources right and this is where you're going to be able to see this view this exact view so there are a few ways you can see your pixel here that's your pixel those are your settings of the pixel Make sure that this automatic advanced matching is on. That's absolutely mandatory. Then go to overview, then go to from a new website, right? Add events from a new website. And here we have two different ways of installing the pixel, installing the pixel, uh, integration, check your partners, integration. And you can see there are a lot of integrations with Kajabi, HubSpot, many, many different like integrations. We are choosing Shopify. And there should be some settings that we need to do before we proceed here. So let's go to Shopify store, uh, we click on online store, we click on preferences. Unless you can have it for a while, I don't think it's changed. Absolutely install Google Analytics as well. You know, I've said it now, numerous times in on my videos that it's very important. Analytics is very important for tracking purposes. And that's the, one of the best free tracking ways, right? Analytics. So set up Facebook. Right. I don't know if it's given this way, but it used to be very easy. Now you've got to give it the name of the, the website, dot .myshopify.com. There we go. We have our channel here on the left hand side, Facebook channel. I'll definitely give it a pin so that you, we, we can pin it and have it faster access to it. Now we can go and, uh, and create shopping, right? Facebook shopping and what's not. You need to connect the pixel here on, on settings. Now it's set up, it's all set up. You just go on the events manager and you continue. Yes, I've completed Shopify. Next. There's already one pixel, right? Verify your pixel is working correctly, right? So there's one only, um, there's one pixel working already. You'll we'll see that here on the website. Let's go to the website. There's the website. And I want to show you something. For instance, you, you don't see any pixels here, right? Yeah, that's because you have a blocker, ads blocker. I will really click on my ad blocker and just turn it off and refresh the page. Now you see the actual pixel, see? Metadata, it's not detected. Okay, it's pretty well set up. I just wanted to show you that the pixel is already installed in working correctly on this website. And that's why I'm not gonna show something that is just next, next, next. This setup is completely next, 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 and, and it's already set up. And I'm gonna show you how you gotta see it, like this way, here on shared data, once you go to settings, you need to see under shared data, your pixel. If it's not, if you don't see it, you just go to setup, and you set up uh, the pixel correctly. And it's pretty easy because they are uh, connected um, through API, right? And uh, I will show you later uh, in a different video how to, how you can also 
install the conversion API, which is something like Facebook Pixel. It gets data, but it's based on the browser. It's not based on browser data, but it's based on, on, on conversion API. It's, it's, it's through API. It's connected to the CRM, basically which is uh, where the data is much more accurate. And okay, so uh, once we are done here, the pixel is installed correctly. There's another way of installing the pixel. It's up, if you go to Shopify App Store and retype Facebook pixel, you will get some uh, apps that you can install. And it's really easy to, once you follow their videos, it's really, really easy to, get your pixel up and running. It used to be very good um, application, Google Pixel Track, Google Helper. Mm, I don't see this application right here. But anyways, you can, I'm 100% sure that if you click any of these um, apps, you we'll just uh, look at their reviews, not to get into, let's say, 3.5 or something it's, you know, like this one. I don't know, people are not very happy about this this one yeah so there's the second way through applications and third way installing the pixel facebook pixel is when you go to online store maybe we should go to uh, event manager first so that we can grab the code from website and now instead of going to partners we will go to install code manually copy the code so that's the whole code right in we will go to the Shopify store. Again, you click here, online store, themes, and that's your theme, and under action, just go to edit code. Okay, now here we are looking for this theme, theme liquid. Click on it, theme liquid, and you can read this, uh, this section here, where was this? Okay. Paste the pixel code into the bottom of the header section, just above the head tag. Install the base code on every page on your website. Okay, so after reading this, you gotta click this one here, and then get back to the, to the website. And we scroll down where the header is ending, and to the body, header, so that's the, the end of the header section, see? I'm gonna give it some space here. I'm gonna paste the pixel. Yes, so I'm installing this pixel manually only just to show you, right? Let me see. After I save it, when I go to the website, should be refreshing it. And after I refresh the website, we click here, and there you go. We have two pixels, right, installed. Well. Those are the three ways of uh, installing the Pixel code on, on Shopify. The first one, it's through Shop, uh, through Facebook's right away through Partners, right? Here, click event and back in Partners, right? From a new website. The first way is through Partner. The second way is manually. And the third way is through a third-party application. On, on Shopify. Thank you for stopping by here in my channel and uh, watching this video. I hope it helped you a lot in your business or uh, career on, or uh, whatever. So uh, please hit the thumbs up and uh, subscribe for, for, for the channel. Thank you very much and see you next time.